Welcome to Eric Leverton, Whiskey Aficionado. How are you? I've been hearing a lot about a distillery called High West, and they're uh, located in Park City, Utah. They've been around since 2006. It's the first legal distillery since 1870, so Utah was dry for a while. So I thought I'd try to pick one up. I originally wanted to try the uh, Midsummer Night's Dram. Love that title. Love that. And I hear it's really, really good. It's also really, really out of my budget right now since I'm not working and don't know when I will ever again. So today, I got a small bottle of High West Double Rye Whiskey. Now, why is it double rye? Because there's two different ryes that they, that they put in together. Both of them are two years old, which makes the whiskey four years old, of course. That's the way math works. We have four basic core products, and the double rye is one of them, so we're going to try it today. Let's give it the nose test, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Every sniff is a different aroma. Mint or menthol? Wow. And now something, not something else. What is that? Is that licorice? No. Anise? Is that the same thing? Licorice and anise? My brain is not working tonight, probably because of the heat, but I think that's the same thing, isn't it? And mint. It's some kind of sweetness, but it's not vanilla. It's not vanilla. It's not honey. Could be chocolate. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to drinking this, aren't you? Here's to you. Oh, oh, I'll have what she's having. Seriously, so much going on there. I'm tasting mint chocolate. Now, it could be separate mint and chocolate, but I don't know if I've explained this to you before, but I love mint chocolate stuff. And this really just makes me very happy right now. I have to take a second drink. Oh, that is really tasty. Now, this is not like sweet kind of mint chocolate. It's very tame, small, but that's the, that's the flavors that I'm getting first, way in the back of the tongue. It's, I can't say it's subtle because it's the first thing I'm tasting, so it's not subtle, but it's not like, oh my God, that's so sweet. It's not. It's just a lovely kind of um, flavor. I, I, can't, I can't really describe it beyond that. I was not expecting that. I mean, I've heard good things about High West, but uh, that I was not ex expecting. It's very, very good. It's very tasty. Oh, the complexity keeps growing as I as I take a sip. You know what? We need some water for this. Here we go. Plenty. Let's see what that does. Brings up some more flavors. Okay, the aromas have kind of um, lessened, dissipated, whatever word you want to use. Let's try it again. Ooh, we got the bite in the back now. Oh, something, um, uh, I want to say nutty. I'm a little flustered. I still get the menthol. Not as much of the chocolate. Oh, there's the chocolate right there. It's more separate now. That is really, really good. The proof is 92. And the finish is supposed to have cinnamon on it. So it wasn't nutty. It was cinnamony. Very, very subtle. Yeah, that's what that is. It's very good. There's a lot going on there from, from the, the nose to the first taste to the finish. That's, whew, that's really fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Oh, I'm so glad I got to share this with you right here on Eric Leviton, Whiskey Aficionado. Let me leave you with the words of Robin Williams when he said, As an alcoholic, you will violate your standards faster than you can lower them. Till next time.